Hay storage. Beef producers need to do a better job of storing the hay that they have for their beef cattle. Hay losses can result in as much as 30 to 35 percent of the total crop. With the high cost of producing hay, this is something that we simply cannot afford. First thing when we're thinking about hay storage is to be sure that the hay is properly cured before it is baled. Uh, we see every year instances where hay maybe is rolled a little bit too quick. It may be stacked uh, in a barn or stacked outside, uh, end up uh, getting spontaneous combustion and we end up losing the whole hay crop. So what we need to do first is be sure that it's cured properly and then assure that we are using a technique of storage that will result in the maximum amount of hay that will be available to feed the animals during the wintering period. Ideally, all of the hay should be stored inside the barn, but most producers don't have adequate space, so they have to rely on other methods of storage. I think the things that uh, we need to be very conscious of is staying away from storing bales of hay under trees, storing it on pavement, and so forth. Uh, Mr. Larry Moorhead, the extension agent down in Moore County, did a uh, hay storage demonstration a few years ago. Uh, if you'll take a look at this table, this will uh, let you see the treatments that he had and also the storage losses that, uh, that resulted from these different techniques in, in storing the hay. Uh, one of the treatments was where he stored the hay on the ground with no cover and ended up with losses approximately 37 uh, percent. He did basically the same but raised the hay up off of the ground on tires with no cover. That reduced the loss to 29%, but that's still quite high. Uh, he stored some of the round bales of hay on the ground with no, and they were covered. He still got 29% loss, so there was losses occurring on the bottom of it. And a lot of times we think, well, the only loss we've got is where we're getting the moisture coming from the top, but it can be from the top or the bottom. Uh, next, he uh, put some hay out that was on tires and covered, and he only had an 8% loss uh, doing it this way. Uh, he was able to also store some bales that had net wrap, put those on the ground. This resulted in a 19% loss of the hay. Uh, this was all compared to hay that was stored in the barn from the same cutting, and with approximately a 6% loss here, of course, part of that just being the moisture. So as you look at these various techniques, I think uh, we can see that the best place to store the hay is in the barn. If we do not have that option, we need to get it up off of the ground some way and then have it covered also to minimize the amount of loss that we've got. Uh, again, we need to take extra care of the hay that uh, we're storing for our beef cattle. The high cost just does not allow us the privilege of wasting a lot of that hay during the storage process. Uh, if you'd like additional information on hay storage or other topics related to beef cattle production, please contact your local extension agent.